Hi, my name is Samantha, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. Why did the gym close down? Because it just didn't work out. That's all for today. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow. And until then, let's take it back to the studio. Hello, everybody. My name is Hunter, and I'm here to deliver the data we collected from today's survey. Today's survey question was, what is the best feature of a smartphone? 178 students responded. Let's take a look at the results. What is the best feature of a smartphone? In first place, with 27% of the vote, was games and apps. In second place, with 26.4%, was using the internet. In third per place, with 24.7% of the vote, was text messaging. And rounding out the survey were making calls and the camera. That's all the data we have to share with you today. Please participate in our next survey by clicking on the link located in the heading of our YouTube page. Now, let's take it back to the studio. Hi, my name's Emily, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an electromagnet. First, you'll need a cell, a wire, a nail, and a rubber band to secure the wire onto the battery. The first thing that you're going to want to do is attach your rubber band to your cell just like this. What you want to do is wrap your wire around your nail just like this. So next you want to attach each end to the wire um, onto the battery, just like this. Once the nail is charged by the battery, your electromagnet should be able to pick up the paper clips. Now you can try and make an electromagnet at home. That's all for today's lesson. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Hi, my name is Gio, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is adhere. Adhere is a verb. Adhere is defined as to stick to or to remain attached. Cling and hold fast are synonyms for adhere. In a sentence, adhere can be used like this. Things will work out better if we adhere to our original plan. Adhere, can you use it today? Hi, my name is Owen, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on April 9th. On this date in the year 1959, NASA introduced America's first astronauts. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on astronauts. It's estimated that 600 million people watch Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon on TV. Alan Shepard, an astronaut, hit a golf ball while he was on the moon during the Apollo 14 landing. That's a look back in history for the day April 9th. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Hello, my name is Shane and this is today's sports and entertainment update. Baylor wins March Madness final against Gonzaga 86 to 70. Drake's song What's Next moved to the top five songs out right now. New York movie theaters are now allowed to open up. That's all the time we have for today's update. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Hi, I'm Julia and today's lesson is from math class. In math class, we learned about inequalities. An inequality is a mathematical equation indicating that two quantities are not equal. For example, a plus four is greater than nine. Now that's all for today's lesson. Let's take it back to the studio. Hi, my name is Audra and welcome to the segment dedicated to improve your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is immobile. Immobile is an adjective. Immobile is defined as not movable. In a sentence, immobile can be used 
like this. The tranquilizer made the animal immobile. Immobile, can you use it today? Hi, my name is Anthony, and welcome to a segment dedicated to improve your vocabulary. The word of the day. The word agenda is defined as an outline or a plan. Today's word is agenda. Agenda is a noun. Schedule or docket are some synonyms for agenda. In a sentence, agenda can be used like this. Let's look over our agenda for the meeting. Agenda, can you use it today? The new students coming in. What I'm looking most forward to in the fourth quarter is Mr. Zulo's core class. The thing that I'm most looking forward um, to in the fourth quarter is coding in my next core class. Um, I'm looking forward to most for the fourth, the fourth co co quarter is coding. I'm looking forward to seeing all the people on the other side. What I'm looking forward to most in the fourth quarter is the two new periods that are coming up. Um, so something I'm looking forward to in the fourth quarter is trying to, like, working harder and getting my grades up. Hi, my name is Emma, and today I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on April 12th. On this date in the year 1961, Yuri Gagarin of the Soviet Union was the first man in space. Based on this event, we'll focus today's facts on Yuri Gagarin and his journey into space. Yuri Gagarin's capsule, Vostok 1, completed one entire orbit around Earth on the 12th of April. He was 27 years old. The entire one orbit around the Earth took 108 minutes, or one hour and 48 minutes. That's a look back in history on the day April 12th. Now let's take it back to you in the studio.